everybody thank you so much for clicking on my video to watch welcome back to my how-to tuesdays where every tuesday or every other tuesday i show you guys a little how-to video for today's it's going to be how to apply your lipstick perfectly to try and accomplish the best outcome of your lipstick so before we hop on into the video please don't forget to subscribe click that little bell beside the subscribe button that way you guys get notified every time i upload a new video also be sure to like this video if you enjoy my how to tuesdays and if you like to know my tips and tricks then please just keep watching this look that i have on i actually just filmed a tutorial for it it should be up on thursday and i also included this exact same lip combo in that tutorial so you'll be able to see that in my tutorial soon i just thought i would stick with the same shades because because I really like how it came out and it matches my logo that I'm wearing right now. The first step to everything is your base. So for a perfect application and to ensure all of your products go on smoothly, I like to make sure my lips are nice and hydrated because I do have dry lips and in general, it's good to keep your lips hydrated anyways. I really like lip masks because they really go deep into your lips. So the one I'm wearing right now is the Clinique Pep Start Nighttime Lip Mask. And I never like to put it on right before I put on all of my products because then they'll just slip and slide everywhere. I like to make sure my lips are always moisturized, so I usually will have some lip trap on anyways, but a good time frame would probably be 10 minutes before you put all your lip products on. When I get to putting my lip products on, I like to just rub in my chapstick or lip mask, whatever I'm wearing. Make sure there's not too much product on my lips, but also making sure they're still nice and moisturized. The next step is to line your lips. Creating a barrier around your lips is always a good start because it kind of sets a boundary. Kind of like a coloring book, you want to stay inside the line, so putting that line there ensures that you don't go outside of it. I also like to overline my upper lip just a tiny bit, even though I lips that way. And if you pull back your lips, like this then you can see the outer perimeter really well and you can create a more of a straight line and not go all jaggedy because your skin is tight like this <laughs> it looks ridiculous i know but then you're just pulling back the skin and it's much easier to follow along your lip line what you can also do with your lip liner is start to drag it in from the outer corners of your lips so it creates a little bit of a dimension and doesn't just cut off from lip liner to lipstick once you put your lipstick on it kind of just fades into it so I'm going to leave the middle of my lips open with no lip liner on them. I will fill in these outer corners. Moving along, we're going to apply our lipstick now. That lip liner, by the way, was Essence in the Nude Lip Liner, and this lipstick is Too Faced Doll Face. It's all broken and smushed up, so don't mind that when I open it. So you can use a lipstick or obviously a lip liner, whatever lip product you wanted to use, lip gloss. I'm using a lipstick. So what I'm gonna do is just apply it to the center where I didn't put my lip liner, just like so. And then I'm just gonna kind of rub my lips together a little bit. I'm just going to blend it out with my finger and create a fade out effect with the lipstick. And then it creates that two-tone dimension with the lip liner and the lipstick. I really like the two-tone. It makes your lips look poutier, gives it a little bit more character with the two shades. An extra little tip I have is if you don't want to use a lip liner whatsoever and keep your lips all the same color instead of doing the two-tone like I'm doing, a trick that I do that I just picked up one day because that's what I wanted to do with my lipstick. I'm going to show you with a different lipstick because... <laughs> My one I'm using is all smashed up. But what I do is I usually have this tip to the lipstick, looks like so. And also every lipstick that you get has that slant and the tip at the end of it. You can usually always find an edge to the lipstick. What I'm getting at is you can actually use that tip as a lip liner. So what I do is I would just grab the tip, go all the way around my lips as I would a lip liner, and voila, you can use your lipstick as a lip liner and it works really well. I know everyone's lipstick ends up looking different because we all apply it differently. So my shape usually has a nice tip at the end that I can use, but you can always find a little edge to it that you can use. Next step you're gonna wanna do is clean up your lipstick afterwards. There's usually a little mistake you make along the way, sometimes not, that's a good day. But what I like to do is actually take my lip liner again and sometimes I don't even put my lip liner on first. I'll put my lip liner on after I do my lipstick. That way I get a really clean edge and I don't mess it up at all. But since I already put on my lip liner, I'll show you this way and I'll just clean up any mistakes I make around the edges. If I want to blend it in a little bit more, I'll just go over it again, but I'll usually just go around and fix any little curves I have or spots that I missed. But it just helps to blend in all of the product, 
clean up the mistakes. The liners are handy little guys. I usually like to do that rather than use the well-known trick and just use concealer. But I will clean up a little spot over here with concealer just to show you how I do it. So you're just going to want to take a flat little brush and grab some of your concealer right onto the top of it. And you want to use a small brush because you're just cleaning up the edge of your lip. I don't want too much product to go everywhere. So this spot I'm going to clean up right here. So you just take it on the edge of your lip. I know a lot of people already know this trick, but if you don't... You just drag it along the edge of your lip. Wherever you made the mistake, you could go all across your lips if you want to make sure they're super precisely even, or you could just fix little mistakes like this. So I usually put the product on and then I like to flick it outwards just so I can blend it out because this is the problem I usually have with the concealer is that right at the edge you can usually still see it that's why i like to do the lip liner instead but i find if i just use this kind of flick out blending motion then it gets all of the concealer away from my lip and then i kind of just dab it out with my finger and then the concealer isn't just sitting there oh i actually just took away too much of it so i'm gonna go back in with my lip liner just to fix that little mistake and we'll be done. Okay, well, that is it for the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. These are the things I do to get my lipstick as precise as it can be. So please don't forget to subscribe for you to be able to like this video if you enjoyed it. Let me know what How To Tuesday you want to see next, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!